I was a visual person for half my life. I had intended to go to uh, school to be an architect. I had already gone through undergraduate school as a sculptor. And as I was uh, getting accepted to some uh, master's programs, I learned that I would go blind. It took me two years to struggle with the emotion of it. Uh, it was very traumatic. It, uh, uh, it was crushing. Uh, I walked up and down the, the hallway going, I will not be beaten. And I'm not. Going blind, I, I never knew that I would be a photographer. What I'm doing is dancing on the edge of perception and grabbing information to build an image. It's like a baby learning how to see. I'm seeing with sound and touch. I'm actually seeing in my mind's eye. I'm considered profoundly blind. I have no vision, and actually I have uh, light effects, crackling lightning and spirals of light that go through my vision. I do a lot of photography in the dark, and I do it this way because darkness and blindness are related, so it's a simple visual metaphor for me to uh, show where I am. My product is an image for sighted people, but the event is an image for me. This isn't really understood very, very well. The event is all me. The product is when I, I bring it into the sighted world. But I'm very clear about not mixing the two. So the work of blindness isn't tainted by the sighted world. Sighted people see the world as if looking at a painting. I see the world as if immersed in water. So I'm seeing the world in 360 degrees. So unless I'm with sighted people that are reminding me that I'm blind, I'm sighted. I just see the world very differently than you do.